Have you ever heard of somebody explaining something by saying that there was two items that were the same but different? Well, that's kind of how it gets explained when you're talking about the Echo TC210 cultivator and the Manus 7920 cultivator. The first thing you'll notice when you look at the two of these tillers next to each other is the engine. It's a Yamabiko 21.2 cc engine on there, two-stroke engine, and if you're not familiar with Yamabiko, they are the parent company of Echo. So these engines not only look similar between each other, but they also look similar to the ones you will find on most of the Echo string trimmers. The Mana 7920 and the Echo TC210 both come with high torque worm gear drives, 10 inch reversible tines, they have a 9 inch tilling width, and both weigh about 20 pounds. You can find the model number and serial number for both units at the same location on the machines. It is directly under the recoil starter housing, right on the corner where the pull rope comes out of the starter housing. So you're probably wondering what are the differences between these two machines. Well, here we have the Manus on the left, and we have the Echo TC210 on the right. First thing you'll notice is the Echo comes standard with a kickstand. The Manus does not. That is an extra option on this model from Manus. Another big difference is in the air cleaner housing. It's not as noticeable in this picture, but we're going to show you a little bit more and what the difference is inside of that. Here is a little bit closer look at the air filter cover on the Manus tiller. You can see it's held on by a wing nut and it goes the whole way around. It's a box style air filter cover. You can see on the bottom there and on the front, it goes the whole way around the air filter back plate. Inside that air filter cover, you're going to find this flat felt air filter. This might look familiar to some of you that have had Echo trimmers over the years because this was used on a few models of the Echo string trimmers. Another thing to look at here in this picture is notice the throttle cable. Look how it goes up above the recoil housing and then curves back down through the fuel lines and under the tank. Here's a little closer look at the air filter cover on the Echo TC210. You can see it has a thumb screw in the middle to hold it onto the machine. And if you're familiar with Echo equipment, you've seen this cover before because they use this on a lot of equipment through the years. They use this on leaf blowers, hedge trimmers, string trimmers, and who knows what else. And if you're familiar with this air filter cover, then you know what's inside of it. This is an air filter that Echo has used for years and years and years. It has changed part numbers through the years. They've changed the design slightly here and there. This is the current rendition of it. It has the white felt with the black rubber around there to help seal it up. So you're going to get a much better seal on this air filter than you will on the flat felt air filter that comes in the Mana style cultivator. So this is a big improvement right here, and this is a big selling point and something that would really put this over the edge if there was no other differences between these two machines. Another thing to look at here in this picture is the throttle cable on this Echo TC210. You can see that it comes up and curves, but still it, it's really close to the top of the recoil starter housing doesn't go up above it as high as the one on the Manus tiller but you can see here on the Echo it goes up and has that 90 degree there and then it just goes straight back. The one on the Manus as you see here goes up and then it comes back down through the fuel lines and goes under the fuel tank. So the Manus has that extra curve and bend in there that the throttle cable has to go around. Now having the throttle cable run down underneath the fuel tank might not seem like a big deal, but you're putting an extra curve into that throttle cable. And anytime you do that, that's another spot for the throttle cable itself to rub against the lining of the throttle cable housing, which becomes a wear point. So a setup like here on the Echo TC210, where it's mostly straight and in some gradual curves, that's the better way to go because you have less wear points in that throttle cable's travel. The TC210 from Echo uses the same lever style choke system that you will find on a lot of pieces of Echo equipment. There is a lever on the back side of the air filter back plate and you simply push it up to engage the choke and push it down to disengage the choke. The Mantis cultivator uses a push pull style choke. You pull out on the knob to engage the choke and you push it in to disengage the choke. 
The hand grips on the Echo TC210 are just your basic rubber hand grips over the steel handles. The throttle control is on the right side hand grip, and you will see it is towards the back, towards the operator. This means when you go to engage the throttle, you're using your pinky, ring, and middle fingers mostly to engage that throttle. The hand grips on the Manus are larger and a little bit easier to hold. You can see that the throttle is on the right side, just as was on the Echo TC210, but on the Manus, it is at the front of the hand grip, meaning when you go to squeeze the throttle, you are using mostly your index finger and middle finger to do so. In the middle of that right hand grip, there is a red button that needs to be pushed in before you can squeeze the throttle. So we got two cultivators here with basically the same engines on them. They have the same worm gear setup, same tines, cost about the same amount of money. Uh, which one are you going to go with? Because you're going to get about the same performance out of both of them, right? Well, let me start by saying we personally own the Mantis version of this tiller. We use it and we have used it for years and years and years. But if you have the option and you're going out there and you have to pick between these two brands of cultivators, I recommend you go with the Echo TC210. Here's why. The Echo TC210 has the better air filter with the rubber around it. You're going to be running this in dusty, dirty conditions all the time. So that is a huge plus. That air filter is also a common part used on so many pieces of Echo equipment that you're going to be able to find that just about anywhere. That's a maintenance part that you're going to be changing pretty regularly. So it's nice to be able to have that, that convenience of being able to find your parts easily and affordably just about anywhere you could look for, you know, some kind of part for power equipment. Now here's the part that really tips the scales to Echo's favor. With the Echo TC210, you get a five-year warranty. Manus only offers a two-year warranty on the Manus cultivator. Echo has a five-year consumer warranty on this machine and a two-year commercial warranty on the machine. So that means even landscapers are getting as good of a warranty using this thing constantly that a consumer would get using the Manus in their garden just, you know, a couple times a year. So that's a big deal right there. It means Echo really stands behind this thing. They believe in it and they're willing to back it up and give you the support and service if something does go wrong with it. So we took the Echo TC210 for the win here, but we do own, as we said, the Mantis version of this and we have for years. Both of these machines are going to be great, reliable machines. They're going to do a great job in your flower beds, gardens, or wherever you need to tear up dirt. So you can't really go wrong with either one. It's just between the two of them. If you have to choose, we take the Echo because of the better air filter and the better warranty. Uh, the Echo cultivator, the TC210, is available at your local Echo dealer. I believe you might be able to get that online, too. The Manus Tillers, they're available online and through the big box stores, Ace Hardware, True Value, places like that. So pick one up wherever you can. All right, that's going to do it for our look here at these two cultivators. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Happy gardening, guys. We're out of here.